WaveTool Tutorials, Section 1, Audio Device and Control Network Setup. Before launching WaveTool, set up the computer's Ethernet control port and the receivers to the same subnet. This allows WaveTool to get RF levels, quality metering and battery telemetry from the receivers. Here we have the computer using static IP address 192. 1681.56. The Shure Axiom Digital and ULXD receivers have been placed in the same subnet using static IP addresses too. Also, before launching WaveTool, the receiver channel should be named with independent channel names. This will speed up the setup later. WaveTool can be used with any audio device that a Mac can detect in its audio MIDI setup page. The sample rate for the audio device needs to be set to either 48kHz or 96kHz for both input and output. In this example, we will use Dante Virtual Sound Card as a WaveTool audio device, receiving Dante audio from Shure AD and ULXD receivers. Before launching WaveTool, make sure that DVS is up and running and then use Dante Controller to route the audio from the receivers into WaveTool. Launch WaveTool and choose the audio device from the drop down menu. In this example, we will choose DVS as both our input and output devices. In case a sample rate is set incorrectly on either device, simply click the Launch Audio MIDI Setup button in WaveTool. This will open a page where the sample rate of the devices can be changed. When using Shure AD or ULXD receivers, choose Auto Discover Shure Devices. This will enable the auto discovery of the devices and ensure the correct network interfaces are chosen. Hit confirm and a new WaveTool file is created. When using Shure AD and ULXD receivers, the setup is simplified due to the auto discovery of the devices. First, go to the edit menu and choose the inventory menu item. If the receivers are set to the same subnet as the computer's control port, WaveTool will automatically discover the receivers. In this window, it's possible to sort the receivers by their IP address or simply drag and drop them to match the order of the physical receiver rack. In this setup, we have routed the audio channels in Dante Controller one to one from top to bottom, so we will organize the inventory accordingly. Inventory shows the suggested audio channel for the receivers. You're not limited to the one-to-one -one relationship though. In case your audio patch starts from input 25, for example, it's possible to select the first receiver and then set the input channels to start from 25 onwards. After the inventory is sorted so it matches the physical rack or the audio patch, select Create Channel Layout and you have created your show file. In case you want to add a receiver that does not support the auto discovery, like Shure UHFR, go to WaveTool Edit menu and choose the Wireless IP List menu item. Add a new receiver, in this case UHFR, and type in its control IP address. The device will ping OK, and now when entering the inventory window, you should also see the new UHFR receiver in your virtual rack as the last device. Press Create Channel Layout again, and this will overwrite the existing file with a new file including your newly added UHFR receiver. You can use this method to add any WaveTool supported wireless receiver to your show file. 